Uh, thank you so much to our learners. We're going to continue to celebrate Youth Day throughout the week, so stay tuned and have your voice heard. Now, it was two out of three victories for our national sporting teams this weekend as the Springboks and Bafana clocked in impressive performances. Well, unfortunately, the Proteus slumped to a very disappointing defeat. And with his analysis of how our South African teams performed on the field this weekend, Garen Lamley from Sport24 is back with us this morning. Sir, okay. welcome back. Um, let's start with the, the bad news first. Uh, I'm not going to use the term chokers. No, I am. Uh, it's just, <laughs> I mean, we, we had every opportunity after our group was all squared up at two all. When we compare our performance yesterday to, for instance, what Sri Lanka did against mm. India, probably the best team in the tournament, I feel. Um, what What is going on in the Proteus headspace at the moment? I don't want to be too judgmental because we're very far away and it's easy to judge. Mm. But um, what's going on, man? Very, very <laughs> sad. As you say, you know, the, the group opened up for us. Had we beaten India, we'd have topped the group. We would have played <sighs> Bangladesh um, in the semi-finals. All due respect to Bangladesh, not one of the powers yeah. of cricket would have opened us up for the final, perhaps. We just didn't show up. I mean, it's simple as that. You know, it seems like when we get to these pressure matches, we default to what we've done over the past years and just sort of choke, as you say. Yeah, you know? I, think I don't mind falling to a brilliant ball and Boomer bowling yeah. beautifully. Um, there were some great balls, but three run three outs. Run outs. Two best batsmen ran themselves out. Absolutely. A bit comical out there in the middle at, you know, at times um, from South Africa. You know, we, we asked, were asked to bat first. I think it would be nice to get some you know, runs on the board. It obviously wasn't to be. Yeah. Uh, and then India coasted to victory. You know, they've obviously got a very, very strong batting lineup in particular, and their bowlers have come on in, in the last while. But, you know, having said that, we've also got um, the number one bowler in the, in the in world, Imran yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the number one we're ranked. We're that top ten, man. We, uh, we absolutely, absolutely You know, they've been very, very disappointed. You can see on their faces, it's, it's obviously not what they were hoping for. Having lost to Pakistan as well in the, in the tournament, and then just the only victory we had over, over Sri Lanka. Uh, so, you know, another tournament slips by. So you know, we don't know when we're going to actually break that. <sighs> so we wash our hands of the ICC Champions Trophy and um, leave the Proteas in the UK for another month. And then we turn to the Springboks, 37-14 win over France. Probably a, a, a French side that we'll see come into its own with these mm. players, maybe in the next World Cup. Um, a lot of their top stars missing due to club commitments. Um, but this was a complete Springboks side, looking very Lions in their, their approach. Warren Whiteley leading from mm. the front. Absolutely. As you said, they rewarded um, form rather than experience for this test. Alec is here changing his sort of game plan yeah, over, the, over the, the last 12 months. And off to a fantastic start. Jesse Creel scoring some re a really good try. It must be said that France is missing a lot of players. Yeah. They're obviously going to get some back for next, um, the next test next Saturday in Durban. But, you know, you can't ask for much more. The, the Lions players in the team, I think there were seven in the starting lineup. They really dominated. Played some really, really good rugby. Warren Whiteley leading from, by yeah, example. I mean, awesome, that's the big, yeah. big thing about him. Andres um, could see at fullback, played a fantastic game, I thought, on debut. Must be remembered as well. So, you know, they really, really stepped up, which was, it was great to see. You said so much about the combinations. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the, the, the Cronier, uh, all of the, the back three, all Absolutely. of those combinations really did click for, um, from my perspective. Then we talk about clicking. Mm -hmm. We move across to Bafana Bafana, Stuart Baxter, back in the hot seats. Our first official win against Nigeria. Absolutely. And I can't ask for a better start to the AFCON 2019 qualifiers. A, a wave victory, three points in Nigeria. They were going to be the toughest team in our group, I feel. You know, now we're well on our way to topping the group, and we have to top the group in order to make the tournament in 2019 in Cameroon. Can't ask for much better. Hats off to uh, do Stuart it, yeah. Baxter, for sure. Um, unbelievable performance. Thank you so much to the fans. Um, absolutely love connecting when um, our national teams are doing us proud like this. We're going to see you after the break.